And besides that, he has the Viking, so he has air support to defend all these Marauders. While on Garimto's side, it's more of a mech bio build. I mean, he has the siege tanks, though he only has three, he's getting more at the moment. And he's getting air support as well, he's trying to prepare a proper, def a proper defense against uh, Kool's um, air units, because he knows that he also has plenty of uh, Vikings. And now, oh, here comes, oh, that, that uh, Medivac was transporting units, got instantly one-shotted. And now another face-off with the air units. That Medivac was loaded the units, he was probably preparing a drop and got completely destroyed. And now focusing fire on the factory, all those Vikings will be able to put this factory down fairly quickly. Vikings incoming to defend the factory, actually focusing fire, getting lots of Garimto units, Vikings down, only two left. Very well played, two against three, and Cool took the advantage on this one. But Garimto is taking his time to pick up his second expo, third base. Already here, I don't like this base very much. He still didn't, didn't clear the destructible rocks, and this opening here is really big. But I mean, on this map, it's not very easy to defend, as you guys know, because of these huge openings here, the access to the natural expo and the following bases. It's really, really open, so very hard to defend. This scan was right on top of Garimto's army, so Cool knows what's going on. He's preparing his own army. They're fairly similar, actually. And now he's picking up the high yield mineral. This place is very hard to defend. Look at the openings on the left and right side. And the units are actually preparing for a clash, I would say. Yeah, they're gonna meet at the Zelnaga Watchtower. Pulling back, pulling back. Cool doesn't want the confrontations yet. Probably reinforcing, yeah, more Marauders coming from the back. And Cool is basically a mass Marauder army, look at this. Mass Marauder with some uh, Viking support, that's basically it. While Garinto is more of a mech bio build. And look at them, just put the factory down. Now placing his unit, splitting on, se on several groups, as you guys can see. And another face-off, Viking face-off. Garinto knows he needs to pull back, he has less units, less units no upgrades at all. And, uh, oh, just flying around over Garimto's units, I mean, he's, he knows that the army is there and they're just on a standoff, like Mexican standoff, just standing there and waiting to, for something to happen. Meanwhile, Command Center already built, but he's going to need to have this place well defended. It's not going to be easy to just mine out of that high yield, especially if Garimto notices it, which I think it's going to happen. Yeah, there it is. There it is. I think that he's just advancing to the... Um, to the Zelnaga tower and pretty soon he's gonna spot it. And now we have a move on the right side. Not sure if Cool wants to flank and show up on his back. Zelnaga picked up. Yeah, there it is. Income wise, look at the gap now because Cool is starting to mine out of that high mineral field as well. Even with less harvesters, the mules just compensate for it and just backing up. And Cool just flanked on the right side past over Garimto's army, now the air units facing in the air while the Marauders destroying everything on the ground. Garimto is actually not moving, his, he left his units on the back, now pulling them back finally, but there's already a lot of damage made on the back. Steamed Marauders focusing fire on that natural expo. Will they be quick enough to just destroy this place? Garimto units running back as fast as they can, but at the moment he's taking way too much and there goes natural expo down. Oh, this is not good for Garinto. Now he's approaching from the back and actually fending off this attack, but at what cost, at what price? Oh, this was not good. And he's still leaving the siege tanks here, focusing fire on the high mineral field. He's gonna rebuild his natural expo once again. Here comes big wave of marauders, uh, just nuking those three siege tanks instantly. Two more on this side. Garimto is trying to get some map control, positioning his tanks left and right of this chasm here, of this gap here. Gathering up some marauders to reinforce his front line. But, um, I mean, he needs to do something about this um, high mineral field because it's what giving cool the advantage at the moment. We're gonna go for another face-off. Marauder versus Marauder. I think that Cool has more of them, yeah, and with 1-1 one, one upgrades already, while Garinto ones they have no upgrades at all, so he just got bashed there. Garinto trying to pick up once again, there's a, a three Vikings shooting up the mineral line on the natural expo from Cool, just harassing a bit, putting the, the harvester count lower, but here comes the Marauders, there's no chance, they need to get out of there. Oh, big Viking fleet finishing off Garinto's plans, it's over. Harvester count got a bit more balanced, but and the income as well. But um, 
Garimto needs to do something about defending his base. This one is very, very well saturated. Plenty of SCVs already. And this one just started again. Actually, they were mining out of somewhere else, out of the main base. They're gonna probably gonna get transferred now. Yeah, here it is. Really, really short army at the moment. Though he has a small ball on this Zelnago Watchtower as well. Let's get the production tab ba back up once again. There was cool getting the level 2 upgrades for his ground units. And Garimto didn't have any upgrades just a minute ago. And he's gonna pay for it. He has to do something about that. Garimto still going for more, um, for more siege tanks. More of a mech build. Focusing fire. Whoa! Too many Marauders. No chance. 1-1 one, one Marauders against 0-0 zero, zero Marauders. There's no chance this Marauder Ball is just making life really hard for Garimto. He keeps facing off. Oh, he just gave up on the match. I'm surprised. Well, he didn't have much to do, uh, really, look at it. As you guys can see, he was building some units, actually getting some more Vikings, Marauders and Siege Tanks and Marines, but at the moment he had zero, so he would get a huge blow here. And look at this nice Sim City. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this match. I see you all later, and I'm going to think about which will be the next game to Shoutcast. See you soon.